Hi, this is just a quick sample video of a topic from calculus called related rates uh, for an hour long video on this topic and all the other topics in calculus free go to www.centerofmath.org all right related rates it's a it's a topic that comes up in calculus it's an application of calculus and what they're about is that you've got a problem with the number of rates of change in it usually with respect to time um, and you know how some of the quantities involved in the problem are changing with time and you want to know how these related quantities change with respect to time and that hints the term related rates so kind of a, a typical problem would be suppose I've got a barge that's being towed in towards a dock and it's being towed in towards a dock by some winch um, the dock, well, I'm assuming the dock is five feet above the water, and then the winch is three feet tall. Um, and I'm also assuming that as this cable is reeled in by the winch, that the barge stays flat in the water. It's heavy. And um, so I'm just assuming that as the winch, as you reel in this cable, that the barge glides in towards the dock. All right, I've called the distance between the barge and the dock x so x will be getting smaller so its derivative with respect to time will be negative um, to indicate that that quantity is decreasing I've called the length of the cable at any time r both r and x are functions of time and r also is decreasing the amount of cable between the barge and the top of the winch will be decreasing so r will also be negative what's a typical question in a setup like this Maybe we know how fast we're reeling in the cable. I mean, in real life, you would hope you would know that. So I'm assuming that dr dt, you should think of this as the rate at which I'm reeling in the cable, but with a minus sign to indicate that r is getting smaller. So this is dr dt, the rate of change of the length of the cable with respect to time. I'm assuming it's negative half a foot per second. The question? We'd like to know how fast the barge is approaching the dock. In particular, it would be bad if the barge smashed into the dock going really fast. So what's the question? What's dx dt, the rate of change of this x coordinate with respect to time? That'll be negative the speed of the barge. Negative because dx dt itself will be negative to indicate that x is, is decreasing. How do you do this? What you need to do is write one equation, or in this problem, one equation, that holds at all times t, at least all times t in this problem, so that it's an equation involving functions of time. And what equation do you use? In different problems, you use different things. But in this one, you use the Pythagorean theorem, that at all times involved in this problem, x squared plus, this height is 8, x squared plus 8 squared is r squared. So you write that. This... <coughs> is true at all times. We don't want to write things that are just true at some specific time because that, those aren't equalities of functions of time. And then you can't take derivatives of both sides of the equation and get something that's true. But here, this is some function of time. This is some function of time. R and X change with time. But at all times, this relation holds. So now you differentiate this whole equation with respect to time keeping in mind that x is some function of time that we're not figuring out explicitly, but it's some function of time, so this is the composition of functions. x is a function of time, and then we square that. So when you differentiate, you use the chain rule. So you differentiate with respect to time. So we go from here to here, or from here to here by differentiating with respect to time. And what do you get? Well, it's the chain rule. You differentiate the outside function, leaving the inside stuff exactly how it was, so you use the power rule. But then you have to multiply times the derivative of the inside stuff. So you multiply times dx dt. This is a constant. Its derivative is 0. So we just get this equals, and then the derivative of this. It's like the derivative of x squared. You get 2r dr dt. And this is the relationship between the rates of change of x and, t and r 
with respect to t. And of course, you have to know x and r themselves to figure out the exact relationship between dx dt and dr dt. We can, of course, cancel this 2 from both sides. We're given dr dt. We want dx dt. We need to know r and x at the time that we care about. But we don't need this picture anymore. You get that dx dt, the quantity that we're after, is just divide by x. You get r over x times dr dt. This is true at all times. We want this when x is 6 feet. So what we'd like to know is what's dx dt when x is 6 feet. Well, it's, we need to know r when x is 6 feet. You use this equation again, um, the Pythagorean theorem. When x is 6, what's r? Well, it's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, except it's a 6, 8, 10 right triangle. If x is 6, r would be 10. So you get r is 10. So you put in that when x is 6. You get r needs to be 10. So you get 10 divided by 6 times dr dt, which is, we're given, is negative 0.5. And this comes out in feet per second. You can simplify this. This is, um, this is 5 thirds. But, and then you multiply times a half, so 5 six, negative 5 six. But um, this is what you get. And that's how related rates problems go. What's another, what's another typical related rates problem? Um, suppose you have two airplanes, A and B, and they're on perpendicular flight paths and at the same altitude so that you can picture what they're doing in this diagram as A is moving along the x-axis, B is moving along the y-axis. Suppose we know that x is Plane A is traveling at 300 miles per hour. That means that dx dt is 300 miles per hour. And we know that plane Y is traveling at 200 miles per hour due north. <coughs> then, or thinking of this as east and that is north. Then my question is, if I take this angle um, here, theta, between the, x, the positive x-axis and the ray connecting A and B, how fast is theta changing, the angle of of the line of sight between the two planes. Um, well, what do you do? You, you need to write down an equation relating theta and x and y. Um, so what is one? Well, you have to use trig functions. Tangent of theta is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So it'll be y over x. Everything here is a function of time, theta, x, and y. And this is true at all times t. You can differentiate both sides of this with respect to t, keeping in mind x, y, and theta are functions of time. So we have to use the chain rule here. And we'll have to use the quotient rule here. What do you get? The derivative of tan theta with respect to time. So I'm going from here to here by differentiating with respect to time, t. Um, you'll get the derivative of tangent secant squared theta, but times the derivative of the inside stuff, so times d theta dt, equals, and now it's the bottom times the derivative of the top, always with respect to t. The bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, all over the bottom squared. So you get this relationship between d theta dt, dx dt, and dy dt. You're told x and y at the times you want. We're given dx dt and dy dt. We know all of this stuff. You have to figure out secant squared theta when x is 30 and y is 40, but that's just a, a trig problem. It's not difficult. Um, if you'd like to see the conclusion to this problem and you'd like to see a lot of other examples of related rates, go to www.centerofmath.org and download our free videos.